Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking about how I keep my life stress-free as much as I can. <laughs> so there are times na parang na overwhelm ako. May mga times na parang sobrang nasa-stress ako and hindi ko alam kung saan ako magsisimula. Alam mo yung mga bagay na ganun. <laughs> so now, um, how I usually deal with it, um, I usually um, just start with the root cause, of course. Sometimes kasi nasa face ako ng cycle ko na parang sobrang down ko or sobrang bigat ng pakiramdam ko. So, dun ko siya binabase. So, like, for me, before I get my period, like, I usually feel, like, heavy and unmotivated and I feel lazy, of course. Like, I just want to, like, stay in bed all day. <laughs> But I can't do that because we gotta pay bills. We gotta pay the bills. So there are like a lot of things that I do to make myself or make my life stress-free. Number one is, you know, when you wake up in the morning, usually we pick up our phones and we just check our social media. I try not to do that a lot because I know that every time I pick up my phone, um, I would just get this feeling of parang I'm in a rush. Parang yung adrenaline ko na nacha-challenge. <laughs> kasi nga, kasi nga, ina-open ko na yung Facebook. I watch funny videos. I watch like, you know, like, they play with your emotions every time you scroll. So you don't want to like condition your, your, your body like that first thing in the morning. And because you tend to like overthink when you scroll on your phone. Second thing, before I get out of the bed, I think about, okay, um, so today I'm gonna be going for a walk because I know that it would that I'd feel good after that and then after that like I do the laundry I'll probably do a song cover or I'll probably write on my journal and then after that I could chill when you plan in your head sometimes it helps hindi sila more into like structuring their day so they just go with the flow. But for me, since I wanna be smart about my time and I only get two days off every week, I wanna make sure that I get the best out of it. Third, another one to keep my life a stress-free life is to actually take a specific day to not do anything. Except your work, of course. But we need to work. So let's say like you have a 9 to 5 job. So after that 9 to 5 job, maybe you could just watch a movie or maybe just go get a massage or do a meditation and then sleep early. So I usually do that whenever I would have like a rest day or kung wala naman akong gustong gawin or kailangan kong mag-recharge mentally, yun yung ginagawa ko. Another one is to spend time with your family and your loved ones. You have to um, build relationships. Of course, there are people who are very introverted, like me. I'm very introverted. Very introverted. But I realized that we're all human beings and we all crave social connection. We feel better when we're surrounded with our loved ones. There's something about talking to people. I think it's good to have like a circle of friends that you trust. Uh, your loved ones or your parents, your sisters your partner and not just be in your little bubble blanket and then for some people also maybe you need to join a league a community where you could create art or you could play sports together so that's also a good one another thing is to have like an outlet where you express yourself so for some people it's journaling some people it's um singing um or drawing but for me i think my outlet is to do song covers like i sing when i feel um when i feel the need to like release my negative emotions like i do that I go work out and um sweat so that's usually my outlet to release that kind of emotion lastly first of course you have to consider eating healthy as what they say you are what you eat so if you eat junk foods you'd feel terrible <laughs> as well like mapapansin mo na parang oh bakit parang ang bigat ng pakiramdam ko or bakit parang pagod ako agad after that meal there are some foods that cause inflammation like if you eat too much dairy if you eat too much sugar or if you have too much caffeine <laughs> so things like that so you really really have to be careful with what you eat and have a balanced diet and lastly, of course, lastly, for sure, for sure, 
strengthen your spiritual connection with God. So if you are currently struggling with something, try not to control anything. Pray to God, ask for his help so that he could give you that patience or that kind of understanding that you are looking for so you can be more equipped to face that specific challenge. Dahil siya lang ang makaka-alam kung ano ba yung best for all of us in this earth. So I think that's it for now. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And yeah, we'll be in touch. Bye!